how to use change of address feature in Google Webmaster Tools. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can um, change the address of your old website to go to your new website. Also, I'm going to show you the best practices as well. When you're logged into your Google Webmaster Tools account and when you press on the website that you would like to move, as in the old website that you want to now move to a new one, you simply make sure you are on that dashboard and press on this gear icon and then press on change of address menu link. Now, once you're on this screen, it's going to tell you, okay, you know what? Have you verified your new site? As in, have you added your new site to Google Webmaster Tools? If you haven't, now is a good time to add it. And all you have to do is press on this link and add your new site and verify. Now, at this stage, if you don't know what in the world I've just said to you, then I have video tutorials that shows you how to add and verify your site in Google Webmaster Tools. So let's move forward because I'm not going to cover that part. So now it says to us to confirm that 301 redirects work properly. So what in the world does this mean? This means this. Let's take a look at this illustration. Let's imagine this is your old site that you now want to move. Now let's imagine that you want to move that to your new site. But remember, this is a one-way move. That means the URLs that you have on your old site now have to be redirected to your new site. And that redirection must be very well thought out of because your new site may be the exact mirror of your old site. If that's the case, you need to have one-to-one um, -one redirection as in relationship between the old page to the new one instead of redirecting your entire old site to your new site's home page that's never smart so now how can you utilize 301 redirection you can log into your web hosting manager and locate domains option so on your web hosting manager when you log into your old site because you still have access to your old site right so now all you need to do is look at the interface and say okay where is that part whereby I can use redirection so you can press on that link you your interface may look different depending on the web hosting company that you're using Either way, all of them should have a redirection feature for you. Now, as you can see, we have 301 permanent redirection. All public domains, which is your old site. So now it's saying, OK, where is this being redirected to? So then logically, the home page of your old site should go to your new site if it is HTTP S then make sure you utilize that in fact you should 110% consider having SSL certificate for your site because you know Google in 2015 and 16 perhaps is giving more ranking wait to sites with HTTPS version so consider that 
you know, small investment, but better returns. So if you haven't done that already, perhaps at this stage you should say, you know what, should I fix it up first before I dive in and change my site address? Okay, so so now let's continue. Reader, it's saying here, okay, this site, which is the old one, redirects to new one. You, you may have www, new domain name, and so on. That's just an example. But this is very important at this stage to really consider. And that is this. Let's imagine my old site had a page called abc.html as an example. Then that should be like so. If your new site is still going to have that content. Make sense? Because you can do that. But what you should 110% consider at this stage is this. Think of what Google's trying to do. Because what will happen is your old site won't be around anymore. And if you're using redirection and you have lots of pages, then if someone finds your website somewhere else on internet, clicks on it, goes to your old site, voila, it's not there, and they've been redirected to your new site. And look at that one hop. One extra hop is a bad user experience for Google's customers. So therefore, 301 redirection must be really, really well thought of. And surely it will depend on how many pages your old site has. One way or another, you have to determine, as in answer this question, does my new site have the same content as in categories, similar content, or is my new site, is the structure of it has changed? If it has, then you have to sit back and say, okay, how can I redirect the old content and pages and categories and all that to a new one? Where on the new site does that fit into the old one? Make sense? Like, where in my new site does this content from the old one should direct to? Or this content from my old page should direct to? Because once you answer that, now you take a bit of time to use this 301 redirection. Now, while we're here, let's go back and look at something else. Your old site, now you utilize the 301 redirection, you can press on File Manager and go into your public underscore HTML folder. Let's press on that. And here you should have .htaccess file. Now if you don't have it, then the file looks like this. Let me remove that .htaccess file because you can speed up the process of 301 redirection using .htaccess directives for Apache servers, as in servers built on Apache servers. So now, as you can see in this sample example, 301 redirection looks like this. So therefore, your old site having .htaccess file, you can here redirect as well. Let me give you a sample. Let's clear all this and let's do this. Let's say I had an abc.html file. Let's say it's another page, another page, another page. So therefore, remember that one-to-one -one relationship between the old and new. At times, you may say, you know what? The 
old site had this category, but my new site will not. If that's the case, you can, instead of redirecting old category to your new home page, you can perhaps redirect it redirected to your sitemap think user experience because a link follow to your old site redirected to your sitemap may be a smarter option for your visitors to your old site because your sitemap file may quickly allow them to navigate throughout your website so let's continue to see where we are so we have added our new site in google webmaster tools we have made sure that our old site is thoroughly using 301 redirection now it says to us okay you know you verify both of your sites and then you simply let's choose let's choose this you can check if there is redirection obviously you fix that up at that stage and then confirm and then submit and that's it now what happened your old site is still there on internet but it's using 301s to go to your new site and doing it properly. And Google is aware of it because that's what it instructed to you to do. Now, all the ranking, all the efforts that you've given to your old site can now be transferred into your new site. And now you can continue to grow your online business. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please give me a like and share this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.